Hello and welcome guys, it's Mark from Gumpler Network. Um, this video is proudly sponsored by the awesome guys over at robocity.com.au. Remember to check out their website. Now, this review, I've been waiting for this kit. Um, this is the RX-78AL Atlas Gundam from the second season of Gundam Thunderbolt. Uh, this Gundam is a very interesting one because it has these globe joints everywhere. It has a rail gun. It has support equipment. Like you can see um, the uh, support legs that it comes with. It's just pretty awesome looking overall. I mean, it's very, it's a very interesting design. If you look at the first season or first movie, December, uh, December Sky um, from Thunderbolt, that was the bulky RX-78 two variant, like a full armor Gundam, um, you know, armored up, weaponed up to the hilt. So, you know, in space, come down to um, Earth and now you've got the RX-78 Atlas Gundam. And this one is more lightly equipped, um, but more, I guess you would say, um, adaptable. Um, it could do a bit more. So let's uh, let's do this unboxing, shall we? So um, I love the cover art on the front of this. You've got the Atlas firing its rail gun. It's got the assault rifle uh, on the support legs. Uh, pretty cool go to the side so this is also an interesting choice for a gundam too because you mean i mean you would say it's it's yellow like obviously a lot of gundams are just a standard white blue red um variant even the first series one was a dark red dark blue with a white this is a white almost a german gray um dark gray and a yellow um, it's pretty cool. It's it's just different. Um, this box has also got some uh, some English on it, which you should be able to see just there if I angle that right. Uh, prototype of a Gundam type mobile suit, which was developed by the Earth Federation Forces, specialising in ground and undersea warfare. This MS adopts the technologies developed in the Principality of Xeon, including globe joints. The sub legs allow the machine to stay in the air and cruise underwater. Deployed to the assault landing ship Spartan, this machine had a central role in Operation Thunderbolt. Oh, I actually called it Operation Thunderbolt, but okay. Uh, and then you go and you got some more information um, over on this side, which you could pause to have a look at. Um, they're just talking about uh, South Sea Alliance and some images there from the movie and series. Standard on the side there. Um, more Okay, more around here if we have a look. Um, we have some posing. I mean, you could use an action base with this. Uh, it's just talking about some marking stickers you've got, you've got with it. I've actually ordered some water slides for this because I don't want to use stickers, but that's from what I've seen, they look quite good. Submarine mode, uh, there's a flight mode. Um, and then there's just talking about the flexibility and mobility here. Um, so I don't think this one actually has poly caps, so it'd be an interesting build. Uh, price 2300 yen, not bad. Um, yeah, all right, let's unbox this bad boy. Ooh, okay, now the guide's on top because I peaked. I couldn't wait um, to have a look at this. So that's a that's a really cool um, looking um, guide there. It's just one full image and the name. Um, we'll swing around to the back and have a look. Um, this has got, um, this is the sticker guide and it does actually look like this is going to be a pretty sticker heavy kit. There's actually a lot of warning symbols around the rail gun, um, warning decals everywhere, uh, build two sets, there are two assault rifles, um, shows you a picture of the, uh, the flight mode and the submarine mode there and there um, just some more information talking about its fight with the mobile armor uh, a color guide shield shields really interesting on this um, another image there you can see um, just posing it up again I love that railgun that railgun is beastie um, there is a cockpit block not a core block 
So it's really good because obviously being a 2017 kit, um, you get a Japanese, but then you get English for everything as well, which is awesome. Uh, people are into that sort of stuff. Now, this was, as far as I'm aware, a pretty new um, kit and it was all purpose made. So um, there is only one, two, two X's that I can see of parts that we will not use. And it looks like it's just a double up of a part that's already there. So that's pretty cool. So the, the runners on here should all be um, brand new for this. And you're gonna start with the chest. Uh, um, you'll then move down to the head. Um, it's in color on the first part. Uh, we then move on to the waist, the arms. Um, then we move on to the legs. Then we assemble. Um, then it looks like um, you got the sub arms. Uh, then we get that awesome uh, rail gun down to the beam sabers. Ooh, the beam sabers are stored in the shoulders. That's awesome. So well, that's a good, that's a cool gimmick. Then you've got the shield. Um, now there is two different versions of this kit. There's a clear version as well, but the two different versions are a P Bandai Bandit Flower version, which is the, um, you get a different uh, shield, a different rail gun, um, which is, you know, compared to the series versus the, the, the OVA versus the movie. Um, yeah, slightly different looks. So it depends which version you're up for. Um, I'm pretty sure the guys at RoboC could help you out with both. Uh, and from the shield down, um, shows you how to attach the shield and the sub arm and together to make the, um, submarine or water cruising mode. Um, there is telling you what part you'll need down here to attach the bottom of the shield to an action base, um, and then flight mode, which is probably what I'd be most likely to display. And so that's really cool. Sorry about that guys, I, there's a bit of a gap in the video there. I just wanted to um, get all the plastic out of the way and get rid of the sound you would usually hear when I'm unwrapping stuff. So there are two sticker sheets you get with this, um, a foil sticker set, which um, I won't lie, it looks kind of part intensive. Obviously the eyes at the top there, um, two, four, six, eight of those smaller round stickers, which obviously go on the ball joints. And then you've got two, four, six, eight of the larger ones. Um, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot here. Um, not real happy about that, but we'll see what they look like. I may end up painting some of this if I can. I don't know if I'm gonna have a whole lot of time because it's, it's obviously um, pretty intensive on the colors there. So uh, now you do get also, apart from the foil stickers, you then get a marking sheet of stickers. So uh, EFSF, um, a ton of warning signs. Uh, you get the um, EO Fleming's family, the Fleming family crest there. Um, yes, yeah, this, this is like a warning sticker sheet and a marking sheet. So that's actually really cool. They don't include that often on HEs. I think the Origin got some of those, but that's really cool. Now the parts, the runners. You can see here's my stack here. So if we have a look, that is uh, E1, which is. TB and 2017. So like I said, purpose made because you get the sub arm joints, um, the machine gun. I don't think there's gonna be anything that's not 2017 Thunderbolt in here, which is, this is A1. So sub arms, uh, there's the shield. Now it says that one we won't use, just that one. So there must be two on another one as well. Uh, waist joints, uh, armor, hands, um, thruster covers. Uh, this one is D1 and also a 2017. Ah, there's the, um, that's it. They include the adapter just there for your, uh, for your mount, for your action base. That's cool. Uh, some joints. This is the shield, which I'm not sure I, I, I like, but um, yeah, not for everyone. Uh, that's B1. We then have C1, which is, oh, a ton of yellow. This is the rail gun, uh, part of it at least. Love it. Uh, this is D2, which is some more joints. Um, this is B2, so you get two Ds, two Bs. 
and all 2017. You also get two C's, B, C, D, you get two of everything to make up the part count. Some extremely long, they're almost like master grade length beam sabers or effect parts. Uh, you then get an E2, so B, C, D, E, you get two, and I think I see an A2, so um, I think you pretty much get two of every runner, that's why it looks like there's a lot. Um, and just some more parts here. Ah, oh, yeah, so that's why you get four of these pieces, but you only need three for the shield cover. In this version, if you had the Bandit Flower version, you only need two. Uh, and that's A2 as well. So, yeah, guys, you get um, you get two of everything. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing. We will get to the review hopefully in the next week. Um, I'm just having a short break. I'm heading over to Singapore um, for a week with the family. Um, I'm picking up a P Bandai kit while I'm there actually, so it's going to be really cool. Um, uh, the Power Rider Space Type I've been waiting for. I had a friend over there, Henry from the um, yeah, GN team as well. He lives there and he's picked that up for me because they have a web shop in Singapore. And uh, yeah, that'll be cool. So thank you very much for joining me for the unboxing, guys. Uh, love this kit. It looks pretty awesome. I'm sure it's going to look awesome to display. Um, we'll just see how we go with those stickers. Thank you very much. Bye.